Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, we will be jailbreaking iOS 15.7.6 on all the supported devices such as iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, iPhone SE first generation, or iPhone 7, 7 Plus, or any other device that is running this version. The method shown in this video is completely free along with the pale next or the pale range jailbreak. Also, you will be able to set a passcode and touch ID while jailbroken on iOS 15.7.6. Also, if you use the latest version of Pale Nix, that is currently 1.0.9, you are facing this install failed status 256 problem. The solution is to use the older version of Pale Nix that I will show you in this video, or you can use the rootless method, or you can wait for the beta 7 for pale next but as i said in this video i will be using the older version of pale next and i will show you the same on how to get it and get your device jailbroken on ios 15.7.6 also you can complete this jailbreak process right on your windows computer now to get the iso to flash to your flash drive head to the official github for pale nix it is completely free and open source as you can see it right here now if you scroll down you will see releases just click on it and scroll down a bit further so the latest version which is causing the status 256 problem is version 1.0.9 then again you will see releases here just click it we will be using the older version so scroll down and you will see version 1.0.8 you will go to assets and then get the version 1.0.8 amd64 iso file from here next get the banana etcher which is also completely free and scroll down and hit download etcher and get the portable version for windows from here once you have the version 1.0.8 for Pilnix and the Blana Etcher. You can simply open Blana Etcher by right clicking and running it as administrator. Now simply attach a USB flash drive. I'm using this 2GB USB flash drive. Now click flash from file. Now select the ISO that you got. Hit open. Now hit select target. Now here you will find the USB flash drive that you have attached. Put a check mark here, select, and then hit flash. All right, so flash complete. Now we will restart the computer and get our device shield broken. Now guys, let's boot from the USB flash drive that we have created. You can simply hit F12 or F9, depending on your computer's manufacturer, to get to the boot manager. And you will find the USB flash drive right here that we have created. You can either use the UEFI boot or the legacy boot. Both are working. Just hit enter on it. And you will see that pale Nix will now load. And then you will see this menu. Now simply attach a device. And then you will find this toggle. Hit on trust. And here just hit on pale green. Just hit enter. All right, then if you want to switch between the rootful method or the rootless method, you can hit switch and you can switch from here. I am using rootful. If you are using the rootful method, you will have to go to options and then create fake FS or bind FS. If you want to save space, you can use bind FS. It is ideal for 16 GB devices. But in this video, I am using the fake FS option so simply hit the space bar and it will be selected now hit enter now simply hit start and you will see that your device will go into recovery mode as you can see it right here now hit enter and follow the on-screen instructions and get your device into the dfu mode there you go now this process can take about 10 minutes because it have to create the fake FS or the bind FS. Also guys, if you are using an A9 or lower device, you may get stuck at the Pongu OS shell on your device. Leave your device there. Control C on your computer, type exit 
and then rerun the jailbreak and then your device will get out of the stuck from the pongo os and the process will run normally all right so the fake fs is done and now your device will reboot in about five seconds all right so this phase is done and now your device will go into normal mode all right so the device boots into normal mode but you will not see the pairing loader yet what you will do is press enter here then go to options and this time do not select fake fs or bind fs hit enter on it then hit start and your device will go into recovery mode again we will get it into dfu mode again from here so this time your device will boot into the jail broken state this time guys when you go in you will see the pelerin loader on your home screen this can take a few seconds to appear so please don't panic now i will go back to windows and then i will show you how to use it and install a package manager simply hit enter here then exit then reboot and then now simply remove the usb flash drive that you have used and then your computer will get back to windows all right guys so first of all i will show you the version 15.7.6 all right, so we have this pillar loader here. So make sure that Wi-Fi is connected. So we use the older version of Pelnix. That's why you are seeing this older version of the pillar loader. But don't worry, it will work. And you can see the version here also. So it is the rootful method. Now simply hit install and wait for the bootstrap process to complete. So the bootstrapping process is almost complete. Right. Now simply hit close and you will see the package manager seal you here on your home screen. Alright, so first of all, let's check out the version. So I was 15.7.6 jailbroken on iPhone 7 and as you can see everything is working just fine. Sources, new, we have some updates and search. So I will try to install Cylinder Reborn to show you that the tweaks are working just fine so we will wait for it to complete cylinder reborn is also completely free and you can see it is now installed the device will respring if i restart the springboard and you can see the tweaks are working just fine on this version also as i said before you will be able to set a passcode so now let's do it And as you can see, the passcode is set and I am in the jailbroken mode. So it is working just fine. You can also set up the touch ID if you want. Let's lock the device and test it. Yes, the passcode is working just fine. And you can see it right here. Alright so guys, that's all for this video. If you still want to ask something, please ask in the comment section and I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.